Hey guys, so in my last makeup rehab update I said obviously I had a couple of months to catch up on and I was just going to film an empties I would repurchase and an empties that I wouldn't repurchase video um, to cover the empties that I'd used up in March, April, May and June. So this is four months worth of empties. This is the video of empties that I wouldn't repurchase. So just before we get into it obviously there are various reasons that I wouldn't repurchase these things which I will go through. Um, it's not necessarily that they're all terrible products, it's just that for me there's something else that does that job better or it's a product that's just superfluous to me that I don't need. You know, it is what it is, I'll explain each of them why I wouldn't repurchase them. Um, but yeah, I'm not... Uh, I feel like... Uh, I feel like this is such a disclaimer culture but like if you love this product or you don't agree with my opinion on a scent or something, you know, the world would be boring if we all liked the same things. So yeah, I'm not trying to offend anyone. And these are not necessarily bad products, they're just ones that I think that I wouldn't repurchase for whatever reason. So yeah, let's just get into it. The first product that I would not repurchase is the Herbe Dry Texturising Spray. I have spoken about this before. I am so glad I just bought the mini of this because this just did not hold in my hair. Um, you know, I saw this do great things for other people. I know people loved it. It was such a cult product for a while. Um, and I bought into the hype and I bought it. But my hair doesn't really do what it's told anyway. It's quite difficult to work with. It's fine and it's very soft. Um, which is obviously it's nice because it's in good condition. Um, but it just doesn't really hold very well. So this just didn't have enough of a hold um, to it for me. And it was too expensive to be something that I was using that like 10 minutes later there was no effect in my hair. So yeah, I definitely wouldn't repurchase this. And... I would only recommend it if you've got hair that behaves itself, if you've got hair that, you know, you feel like you really need to set it every time you curl it or whatever and it falls out, this is probably not for you. The next product that I wouldn't repurchase is this one and this is from the Grow Gorgeous range and it is the Overnight Gorgeous Hair Mask. I did like this but you have to use it overnight which, like, sometimes I just don't want to commit to that. I just want something I can use and wash out because if I put this in and then I wake up in the morning and I need to wash my hair, then if I've like overslept or something comes up and I know that sounds so really dramatic it's like really like you put this in the Saturday night like what are you doing your Sunday morning but I've actually quite recently started an exercise class on a Sunday morning so I can't wash my hair on a Sunday morning so it would need to be a Friday night I'd put this in through to a Saturday morning because I'm not washing my hair before work during the week um, and to be honest like Saturdays I like to get stuff done so I don't want to have to spend time on a Saturday morning washing my hair so I like washing my hair like on an a like a Sunday afternoon after my class because I can take the time to blow dry it properly and I can pin it and then on a Sunday evening I'm not really doing anything so I can like keep it pinned in and really let it set so just because of my hair washing routine and overnight mask is not ideal for me and I feel like as well it di didn't really help my hair grow um, it is it definitely did help my hair be soft and in good condition but I've just got other masks that can do that without needing to be an overnight commitment so yeah this just doesn't really work for my routine basically. Another hair product I wouldn't repurchase is the Dry Bar Dry Conditioner. I just don't think this is something I need. My hair is, as I've already said, in good condition. Um, it's quite soft. Like, I use dry shampoo but dry conditioner is just not really something that my hair needs um, because my hair is quite fine and quite smooth and quite soft. So yeah, it's, it's a nice product. I enjoyed it but I think unless you've got very coarse bristle hair, it's a bit of a superfluous product for probably most people. Moving away from hair, the next thing I wouldn't repurchase, the Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel. So this was a face cleanser. Um, I just really felt this kind of dried me out. I don't really like gel cleansers. It's just a personal preference for me. They leave my skin feeling really tight. I am very oily, so cleansers that are for dry skin in theory shouldn't work for me, but they make my skin feel much more comfortable. So. I actually prefer using a cleanser that's not really so much for an oily skin, it's more for either a normal skin or it's more for a dry skin and then using other products to combat the oil. I do love like the Oscar Renaissance cleansing gel but I don't feel that that's a gel in the same sense that this one was. This is quite a kind of thick sort of, it's hard to explain. Um, but yeah, I just didn't really like this. I felt it dried my skin out, it left me feeling really tight. I just wasn't into that at all. This is an exfoliator from Kiehl's. I'm generally a big fan of Kiehl's products. I really like this coriander scent. I've actually got a shower gel in this scent um, which I really enjoy and I would get the body lotion as well but 
I finished this up and I just don't love it. It was in a kind of cream base so I didn't feel it was the most exfoliating thing I'd ever used. I really like an exfoliator that's quite a grip gritty kind of almost like salt or sugar scrub one that's in like an oil base. That's what I prefer. I feel like I like feeling like I can really feel the exfoliating medium right up against my skin which I, I just couldn't with this. My skin didn't feel any smoother. I think it actually had microbeads in it. Um, so yeah, I just, no, wouldn't repurchase this one. A little jewel that I wouldn't repurchase and it kind of kills me to say it because I love the name and it's from Bath and Body Works and it is Magic in the Air, Shower Gel and the Magic in the Air Body Lotion and it's just like, I can't believe I'm going to admit this but like basically, you know in the Muppets Christmas Carol, the song One More Sleep Till Christmas, I love it. Like I just love it. I love that film. I just love Christmas. I'm a sucker for Christmas, basically. I love Christmas. It just makes me so happy and everyone's happy and things have all got nice names and things smell great and I just love Christmas. But anyway, the fact this was called Magic in the Air and it linked to that song and I was just like, I want this. So I bought like these two, I bought a candle, like I wanted this range, I wanted to love it but I just don't think I actually like this smell as much as I wanted to like it, I just like the name and I get totally sucked in. As a general rule, I really like Bath and Body Works shower gels and body lotions so I would totally repurchase more of them, um, but just not this scent. I'm sorry. Oh, I love the name. Another two empties, the La Roche-Posay Cero Zinc. So this is like the facial spray, sort of like a toner. Like, I just didn't feel these did anything for my skin. I had two of them because I remember buying them in France before you could get them here. And I was so excited about them. And obviously they're totally out of date now. So no wonder they weren't doing anything for my skin when I was finishing them for the sake of finishing for this project. Um, I feel like you can feel like there's stuff in there, but there's not when you actually spray it. But even when I first got these, and it was one of those ones I wanted to love them and I didn't want to admit it, but... I just didn't feel that these helped my skin and I'm very oily Um, it was especially when I bought these I was getting like a lot of breakouts at that time but I'm very sensitive so my skin's very reactive so this is supposed to be like a perfect calming soothing like antibacterial spray no like this uh, it just did nothing for my skin so yeah other people love this so I know that there are some skins it does work for, mine just was not one of them. There is no way I would repurchase these. Another skincare product is the Makeup Raw Sauce. This is like an essence lotion. Um, I didn't hate this but I love my Kiehl's Essence. Of all the ones that I've finished so far this year, I'm currently working on an Origins one. Um, I finished an SK2 one, I finished this one. Like I would I would repurchase the Kiehl's one over any of them. I feel like the Kiehl's one hydrates my skin, it brightens my skin. I feel like I see such a difference and I feel such a difference in my skin when I'm using the Kiehl's one that I just don't feel like I get that effect from any other one that I've ever used, including this one. Um, so it was nice enough in my skin. It was quite a nice texture because it was quite a thick essence. Um, you know, you really felt like you were putting something onto your skin. But yeah, I'm just... I would repurchase the Kiehl's one 100% over this one. Okay, another hair thing, um, and this is from Kiehl's, their Nourishing Olive Fruit Oil Shampoo. This is for dry and undernourished hair. It's fine, like, between myself, my boyfriend and my gran, we kind of all worked our way through this, but this is, it's for what it says it's for. It's for dry and undernourished hair. It just, my hair's really fine, it weighed it down. It just left my hair feeling a little bit claggy and sticky is like the best way I can kind of say it. So my hair, because I use heat on it and things, I do feel like I need to use things that are moisturising for it. But yeah, this was just too overwhelming. So I wouldn't repurchase this. Um, but if you've got really dry undernourished hair, definitely look into this because it, it, it delivers. Oh, there we go. The SK2 Essence. So pretty much covered it when I talked about the Makeup Raw Sauce. Um, I like this and I really wanted to really like this. I actually bought a gift set that this was in purely to get this because I know Kate Blanchett uses this and I mean she's Kate Blanchett and look at her skin. But yeah, I just, the Kiehl's one every time, this did not blow me away. I finished up this which is from Aderma and this is just a moisturiser basically. Just a basic unscented moisturiser. I didn't like using it, I didn't like the texture, it just felt, it, it was just a really basic 
quite thick moisturiser and I just, it did the job and I can't really complain about it because it definitely did work but there are other things that I just enjoy using more and I think sometimes you know you want to enjoy what you're putting on your face so yeah I did not enjoy using this, I didn't like the way it felt on my skin I certainly wouldn't repurchase it. Another thing that I didn't enjoy is this little mini from Skin Iceland and this is the Arctic Hydrating Balm so it's a balm, it's very thick, again very claggy but and sometimes I really like a really thick, I like something that feels rich and thick and oily on my skin almost um, like I like a cream that's very emollient but I don't really like like a balm moisturiser, I love a balm cleanser but not moisturiser, um, it just felt thick and suffocating in my skin so yeah I wouldn't repurchase this. I have to say overall with Skin Iceland there's nothing I've used from the brand so far that I've enjoyed really like there's been stuff that's okay but as a brand I don't think it really agrees with my skin that much so it's just a brand in general I probably would stay away from. Um, another skincare thing, the Kiehl's Smoothing Oil to Foam Body Cleanser. Wanted to love this because I love the L'Occitane one, um, the almond body oil, oh, favourite thing. Um, this smells like marzipan and I can't get past that so I have got another mini of this to use up. I'm kind of dreading using it but once it's done this product will never be back in my life. And then I've got two more products and we are out. First is the Christophe Robin Regenerating Mask with Rare Prickly Pear Seed Oil. This one, I've got another two of these to use and I will use them, but this stinks. Honestly, the way it makes my hair feel is fine, but it stinks. I cannot get past the smell of it and it's stupidly expensive for, like, it makes my hair feel fine, but so does like a Tony and Guy hair mask or whatever. I think this, you'd have to have really brittle under nourished hair to be worthwhile paying more for something that's like hydrating. It just does say regenerating. My hair's probably not in a bad enough condition. It needed to be like regenerated. So maybe I just wasn't ever gonna get the full benefit of this. I've got another two minis to get through and I will use them up. Basically for me, this is a nice hydrating mask, but the smell is not nice, so yeah. I wouldn't repurchase the full size or I wouldn't purchase the full size. This was a gift with purchase item because it's a mini. And then the last thing that I wouldn't repurchase, Bumble and Bumble Thickening Hairspray. I just didn't love this. Like I didn't really, the, like I have things that I spray my hair to blow dry with that I feel like give it tons of volume, mainly the John Frieda like volume blow dry spray, which is cheaper than this is. And I just feel like it way more results from it. Like. I feel like I would use this when I was blow drying my hair and you couldn't really tell that it was any different to just blow drying it without any product. This didn't really work for me. Again though, my hair is like it's quite hard work so if you've got hair that just does what it's told you might find this does work for you but it did not give me as much volume as I like. Those are all of the empties that I wouldn't repurchase from March through to June and I will do a July and August makeup rehab update that's got my July and August empties in it and then it will be back to like a monthly um, empties in with my makeup rehab updates is the plan so thank you so much for watching this and um, let me know if you love any of these products like you know different strokes for different folks it's it's fine um, but yeah they just weren't for me and I wouldn't repurchase them or I wouldn't purchase like the full size if it's been a sample or whatever that I've used nothing more to say thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon bye <laughs>